For women fleeing domestic abuse, there are very few shelters they can go to if they have a pet. As a result, the Pet Friendly Soup Transition House Society is getting calls on a daily basis and having to turn people away. As Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, the housing crisis is making the situation much worse. You just know where you're going, do you? This is one of two pet-friendly rooms at the Soup Transition House Society, and demand for this safe space is higher than ever. We're always at capacity now, so we're having to turn away so many women that really need this service. Come on, Nikki. Come on. The Soup Transition House is the only shelter in the Capital Regional District that allows women and children fleeing domestic abuse to bring their pets. The abuser will use that against a woman if they leave and they come in without the pet. Um, they will start possibly abusing the animal or sending threats that they will harm the animal. A lot of women won't leave the situation because they have a pet in the home. So it's really important that it, there is a safe shelter for those women to come to. It's something Tracy unfortunately knows firsthand. I was in an abusive relationship for five years. He would abuse a dog and that would, of course would upset me. And if I didn't do what he wanted me to do, that's when he would abuse the dog. So it's, it's heartbreaking. Sadly, very few shelters accommodate pets. And with the housing crisis, women with and without animals are staying longer in shelters because they have nowhere else to go. They want to leave, they want to be safe, but because of the housing crisis, there's nowhere for them to go. And they either end up going back to the abuse or they're struggling to find housing. Um, some become homeless. For those fortunate enough to stay at the Souk shelter, the Rain Coast Dog Rescue Society is providing food, supplies and vet care for anyone who comes in with a pet. I think it's so important to have that to make them feel comfortable, safe, accepted and uh, not having to worry about um, the supplies that they would need to continue moving forward. Jesse started Raincoast 10 years ago and has made a difference in the lives of countless animals. He says he wanted to help the transition house because giving back is important. So for me, being able to give back for those people that are going through that as well as their animals just means the world to me because it's such a crucial resource for people to have. Souk Transition House Society also has a 24-hour crisis line for women needing help. Anyone facing physical, emotional, financial or sexual abuse in their relationship is encouraged to reach out. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.